Hello friends, today we are going to start with our next topic that is cell disintegration. What basically is cell disintegration? Sometimes when uh, we uh, find our product to be intercellular, intercellular means the product of our interest lies within the cell that is the product is to be uh, harvested from inside the cell. In such cases we first of all have to break the cell, we have to disintegrate the cell so that we can harvest the uh, intercellular products into the exterior environment. Then only we are able to process it further so that we can harvest the uh, product that is required. Now what all are the techniques uh, which we can uh, perform for cell disintegration? These are the following techniques which can be taken into account. These are shearing, agitation with the abrasives, next is freeze thawing and the last one is ultrasonication. All these techniques are the part of physical methods which are used for cell disintegration. Now what happens in the cell disintegration? First of all, we will talk about the shearing. Simply as the name suggests, what is shearing? Shearing simply means that we are going to provide some kind of shear that will cause damage to the cell membranes. Once the cell membrane is uh, disintegrated, it will liberate whole of the cytoplasm into the exterior environment. Thereafter, we can harvest out the required product from it. Okay. Next is the agitation with the abrasives. What is agitation with abrasives? We are using certain kind of beads which are made up of abrasive material. Means those kind of materials are very hard. Hard uh, kind of materials when they uh, make uh, shearing contacts with the cell, then the cell membrane is going to disintegrate. After their disintegration, again the same uh, thing will be happening. The interior cytoplasm containing the intercellular fluid will be uh, liberated into the exterior environment. Therefore, we can uh, thereafter harvest out the required product from that. Next, what all are the uh, abrasives? We can use the carbon abrasives. We, there are very many kinds of abrasives which are available nowadays. Next is freeze thawing. What is freeze thawing? In freeze thawing, we use low temperatures. We are using, uh, we are exposing our cells to very low temperatures. At certain low temperatures, uh, we uh, give them a very short time period for thawing. Thawing simply means that we are increasing the temperature back to the normal. In general, uh, while we do not uh, require our cells to be broken down, we do not require our cells to be disintegrated, at certain stages we will have to uh, increase the temperature slowly and steadily so that the cells do not disintegrate. But here our objective is to disintegrate the cell. So in th these cases what we are going to do? We are directly going to expose them to slightly increased temperature. Uh, what will happen? Due to uh, certain temp temperature fluctuations, the cell will disintegrate, the cell will certainly disrupt. So uh, what was actually happening in freeze thawing? In the freeze thawing, we were providing the temperature that is slightly higher than the freezing temperature. Uh, if once we expose our cell to the freezing temperature, then usually the cell membrane which is composed of lipids, uh, it, its mobility decreases. The fatty acids that are components of the uh, plasma membrane or the cell membrane, those membranes are reduced in their mobility due to the freezing. If we suddenly increase the temperature due to high uh, mobility or that is the fluctuation in their mobility, the cell disintegrates, the cell disrupts. What will it uh, uh, result into? It will result into disruption of the cell, liberating out of the intercellular fluid into the exterior environment. And this is what we are trying to achieve in the cell disintegration. Why? So that we can harvest out all of the products that were present inside the cell. Okay. Next is the ultrasonication. What is ultrasonication? In this uh, particular method, we are trying to use the ultrasonic waves. Uh, these are particular wave, uh, wavelengths of the sound waves which are known as ultrasonic wavelengths. Uh, if we are exposing ourselves to the ultrasonic wavelengths, these are directly going to harm their extracellular membranes. These uh, membranes which are present outside the cell, that is either their plasma membrane or their cell membrane. In ultrasonication, we directly are going to target the cells with the ultrasonic waves. These are going to uh, create a uh, very big kind of uh, friction forces which are going to disrupt these cells. So this is a kind of your physical method that is ultrasonication. The other methods are the chemical methods as well as the enzymatic methods. What is going to happen in the chemical methods? We are directly going to expose our cells to certain kinds of chemicals like uh, certain reducing agents which are going to reduce the cell membrane. What is it going to uh, happen later on? If once the cell membrane is reduced, it is going to disintegrate, liberating out the intercellular product into the exterior. 
next is the enzymatic treatment enzymatic treatment is the most prominent when we are concerned with our cells why because enzymes are highly specific they are going to cleave only at particular sites and uh, we know that where they, these are going to uh, cleave what uh, what is going to be cleave the cell membrane uh, what kind of enzymes can be used? There is a uh, whole lot of enzymes we uh, nowadays see that uh, uh, due to biotechnology we have classified very many enzymes which are specific for the disruption of the cell membrane or we can even uh, specify the enzymes for a particular cell organ into which our product can be, uh, uh, it could be presented to that particular site. How are we going to do it? We are going to take it disintegrated with the system. How are we going to do this? Uh, we are going to simply take a test tube, we will be pulling our cells into it, simply adding those enzymes due to the action of those enzymes, the cells will be disrupted. How are these going to disrupt? These uh, cells at their particular cleavage sites, these, uh, uh, these enzymes at their particular cleavage site are going to cut those uh, membranes and these are going to liberate the uh, intercellular material to the XCI membrane. So these are the only three methods which are uh, common in, uh, in today's times. Uh, what are those three methods? First one is the physical method, the second one is chemical and the third one is enzymatic. So this is all about the topic that is cell disintegration.